What does an IT leader do all day anyways? Are you sure you want to know? Okay, meet Bob. Bob is a CTO in Chicago. So the CEO tells Bob that they're opening two new office locations in two months. So Bob needs to get them running in eight weeks. And of course, Bob is already drowning in a sea of other projects. He's already got to manage all the IT infrastructure, the software applications, including the patches and updates, networks, disaster recovery, servers, the PCs, the security, mobility, remote workers, as well as working through all the various contracts. Now he's got to duplicate all this around two new locations, fast. Oh yeah, the boss says he wants Bob to start looking at cloud solutions because he read something interesting about cloud on LinkedIn. Bob finds out his current vendor doesn't provide service in one of the new locations. He doesn't know who operates in Dallas, so Bob researches it for two weeks and finds seven potential vendors. Seven potential vendors. And time is running out. Of course, he already knows the carrier sales reps will make promises they can't keep because they have targets to meet. I mean, they're salespeople, right? One sales rep tells Bob that his company can have them up and running in a week if he signs the contract that day. And another tells him two months and then everything in between. Who does Bob believe? And the pricing? All over the place for really no apparent reason. Now it's already five weeks later and only two of the vendors he's talked to have a solution remotely close to what he needs. And now what about cloud? The process starts all over again. And Bob is no cloud expert, so he's flying completely blind here. Who should he believe? Then Bob talked to a supplier agnostic trusted technology advisor. They're a third party neutral company that operates as a telecom and cloud solutions agency, like a consultant and a broker combined. But they're much better than that. I'll tell you about that in a second. You see, the right trusted technology advisor already knows the strengths and weaknesses of every carrier and supplier in the country. They know which suppliers can fit the needs of Bob's industry, his locations, and his company's unique systems and strategies. Better yet, instead of sitting on the other side of the table during strategy discussions, this cloud and telecom technology advisor sits on the same side of the table as Bob, like a true partnership should. The advisor doesn't have sales targets to hit with suppliers because of their affiliation with a technology services distributor. They can choose from dozens or even hundreds of suppliers with no obligation or incentive to choose one, meaning Bob gets the best solution for his company, not for the salespersons. In short, the advisor cares less about selling Bob something and more about helping Bob find the right solution. When there's a problem, Bob calls his new vendor neutral technology partner, not a customer service representative. Escalations get prioritized for Bob. Since the technology advisor is a business, not a job hopping sales rep, they're investing in Bob and his company for decades. And Bob literally has one phone to call when problems arise. That's total accountability before, during, and after the implementation. But that's not even the best part, you see, Whatever supplier and solution that Bob and his technology advisor decide on, his advisor will negotiate rates with the supplier that are the same or better than Bob would get by going direct. And get this, Bob doesn't have to pay the advisor anything for doing all of this work, zero. The advisor partner gets paid by the supplier as if they would pay one of their own sales reps. Well, better actually. So Bob gets all of the service, strategy, accountability, trust, and optimal solutions at zero cost. And because the advisor is invested in a long-term relationship with Bob, something that their own business success depends on, this means they're more accountable to Bob. So everybody wins, including the supplier who gets more business without having to manage salespeople. It's how business is evolving in IT and telecom. So do you want to get all of these benefits of working with a no-cost cloud and telecom technology advisor? Call us today and let's get started.